Joy, joy, joy. Today we dissolve the mistaken concept when we speak of health. Back in the 1990s, I was teaching classes in Ayurveda certification. And I told my students that in the future we won't have health centers because the goal of healing is to heal. And if we're good at what we do and we heal people from the root, the cause, the root cause of their illnesses, they won't get sick again. That's healing a physical condition. That's assuming they'll take care of themselves in the future. But what about the, the mindset that tells us we can get sick or we should get sick or any myth like that? If we can heal the myth that we can be sick, if we can say, what if our DNA, what if our mindset, what if our potential is perfect health? We know already that what we think becomes reality. And if you're a healer and in your heart you want to heal people, that's beautiful. But what happens when we're thinking, I want to heal people, we're looking for illness. We're attracting illness to us. And to the point that we're helping heal, great. But if we're thinking, I need to have clients to stay in business, then we're subconsciously suggesting to these people, come back when you're sick. Or even more subconscious, perhaps, I need people to be sick to stay in business. Very subtle. No blame, no judgment, just analyzing a thinking process in the laws of attraction. Now, what if you say, my goal is to heal all my clients so they don't ever have to come back? Now, do you think that spirit will punish us by leaving us destitute? I don't think so. I think we'll get rewarded and say, wow, you've done such a great job. We're going to open this new door for you. And in fact, that's what's happened in my life. So I know it, at least for me, to be true. And if you believe things, then they do come true. And I don't mean believe them until you are faced with a challenge and then you say, oh, I guess I don't really believe it because look what's happening. I mean belief in that come thick or thin, even when I doubt it, I'm going to default back to believing it, believing that it's true because I, I feel it in my DNA. So I told my students, in the future, there won't be healing centers because people won't be sick. How might we evolve from a healing center if we've healed everybody? And then I said we would have joy centers. People would come for joy. Now, everybody has their own uniqueness and everybody has their own way of living in joy. So you might go to a bunny farm one day for the joy of playing with bunny rabbits. You might go to a musical joy location and hear somebody play their music full of joy. There's just so many possible ways of joy. You may go to an ashram where you hear the joy, the bliss of God, of spirit. You might go to the church and hear how much love spirit has for us and the joy of our loved ones who are alive in the afterlife and feel that joy. There's just the whole gamut, whatever we do. You may go play golf because you feel the joy in that. Whatever brings us joy, we'll be going to joy centers to get more joy, to get more energy. We may stay home and draw or paint or write music or play music or play with our children or grandchildren or grandparents. Whatever brings us joy, that is our future. It will be because we're now in the beginning of the age of celebration. We're going to be looking more and more for celebration. Nothing will satisfy our souls but celebration, but joy. That bowl of ice cream I used to love, eh, not so great anymore. But when I find something to celebrate, ah, I'm, 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 I'm home. Life is complete. Complete in the way that I'm living life fully. I'm celebrating. Celebration is the, the seed that contains everything. It contains gratitude. It contains hope. It contains courage. It contains leadership. Because it requires us to make a choice to look for, to live, to expect, to feel joy to celebrate. What can I do to celebrate? So that's why I told my students back in the 90s, in the future we'll have joy centers. Now more recently, I've started to have this idea form in my head, being in my 60s, learning whatever I've learned up to this point, that it feels like I'm just starting, starting to get enough learning that I'm almost to a place that I feel ready for the world, ready to take 
my learning of learning of self, learning of self as I interact with others, that I'm ready to actually put it into a different kind of action in the world. And I don't have the words yet for that. But just as we are told when you're 18 or 20, you graduate college, you go out and you get a job and you're ready to work in the world, you're ready to get married and those kinds of things. I kind of feel that's not really spiritually speaking. Going into the future, I think it takes 100 years. The first 100 years is our learning process. And I feel honestly that, I mean, I feel, this is my honest feeling and vision, that it's the second 100 years that that's our adulthood. Now, I'm not saying we're going to live to only 200, but this is the next step that I'm being fed. I, I know I just heard another channel say that our DNA, our biology, we were built to live to 900 years. That's 900 years of consciousness, awareness, of joy, of quality of life. That's not 80 years with suffering. You see the difference. And now I want to share with you a channel, a contact I had a channel that I had the other night. Usually my messages come to me somewhere between four and seven in the morning, depending, as I'm transitioning out of sleep into waking state. And the funny thing is the night before, I got a message, okay, tonight you're gonna get an answer. I didn't know to what, but any answer that comes to me from spirit, <laughs> I'm thrilled. So there I was, transitioning from sleep to wake, and I heard, get ready, here comes the message. And I saw a body, perhaps my body. And I saw the things, the sore shoulder, the pain, whatever. There was something that I called less than, a blockage in my body. And, or, or I was seeing a body, I'm not sure it was my body. And suddenly those things in that body dematerialized before my eyes and there was just a body pure and the message i heard was there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong not that we will heal you but that there's not even anything wrong what a concept and i have to share this because every day i meet people young people old people and everybody thinks old age means decrepitude a few years ago i was talking with some gentleman from india and they're probably in their 20s, 30s. And they said, in India, once you hit 50, it's all downhill. That's their mindset of age. And I said, you're living in America now. Look around. Look at people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and look what they're doing. Change that mindset. We have this mindset. When you get older, you get feeble. You lose your memory. This hurts. You slow down. You all the reasons you can't do anything. And I hear people every day saying, that's my memory going, or that's their memory going. And I just need to say, folks, this is a new age. Look around. It's light. It's love. It's joy. It's not that way. And that's the vision I got the other day, saying, you're not sick. There's nothing wrong in this body. What a beautiful message. We are pure. We are light. We are love. We are spirit. And spirit, the greater spirit, is telling me there is nothing wrong with our bodies. There are no limits to our bodies. Isn't that a great concept to start to cultivate? Start to, like we lift weights in the gym, we build up our strength. We lift up our positive brain belief system by saying there's nothing wrong in our bodies. Now, sure, if you're ill, if you're in pain, it's going to be harder to think like that. And I don't mean to sound disrespectful at all. But if this thought comes to you, if you think of it while you're in pain, you say, well, I've tried everything else. What if I start to think there's nothing wrong with me? What if I act as if there's nothing wrong with me? And see if you don't start in small baby steps to move on, to feel some joy, to feel some spirit because that's what it's all about. We are spirit. That's the end of the channel. That's the end of the message. I wish you joy, 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 and long, long life.